Prince Patty. Where's your creepy grandpa? He's my uncle, and he's not here. I see you work things out with your girlfriend. <laughs> she's not, not my girlfriend! <laughs> okay, okay, sheesh. I was only teasing. So what do you want? I need your help finding the Avatar. <laughs> Doesn't sound too fun. Does the end of the world sound like more fun? Nyla! Who's my little mm, snuffly wuffly? <laughs> Careful there. Okay, so who's got something with the Avatar scent on it? I have Aang staff. Scratcher. See ya. And I'm out. Was it? Helpful. Real helpful. Sure. Wait, I have another idea. There's only one other person in this world who can help us face the Fire Lord. I'll be right back with a smell sample. You saved your uncle's sweaty Oh, sample. they're gonna get Uncle Iro. It's kind of sweet. Let's do this. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. Okay, that's how we get them back. <sighs> Up in the mountain somewhere? We're going to Boston, say? Your uncle's somewhere beyond the wall. Nyla's getting twitchy, so he can't be too far. Good luck. <laughs> And so is they. Oh well, so long as they have each other, I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Let's go. Baby <laughs> crazy. Yeah, he is super crazy. <laughs> he the king. Avatar Kiyoshi, I need your wisdom. In my day. Jin the Conqueror threatened to throw the world out of balance. I stopped him. What do you think you're doing? Because the eclipse, baby. Yeah. Taking back my city. You've got no firepower, and it's payback time. You know he goes hard, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, this shit, I'm quick. Get that out of here. Hey, killing the game. and more active, I could have saved her. And you must actively shape your own destiny and the destiny of the world. Well, here we are. Welcome to Old People Camp. Old, Old people, people Camp. <laughs> Where? Where is he? Your uncle's in there, Prince Zuko. <laughs> I know he's nervous. Oh, he might be out. He did say he was gonna go to Red Box to get some movies tonight. Are you okay? 
No, I'm not okay. My uncle hates me, I know it. He loved me and supported me in every way he could. And I still turned against him. Backstab me. How can I even face him? Zuko, you're sorry for what you did, right? More sorry than I've been about anything in my entire life. Then he'll forgive you. He will. Did somebody snatch Aang up and take him to that island over there? No, he walked over there. Oh, yeah, that's right. He walked on the water. Yeah. Uncle. Oh, my goodness. Not that. I'll wait till you wake up in the morning. I'll sleep on the floor, too. All these past avatars, they keep telling me I'm going to have to do it. They don't get it. You're right. Maybe an air nomad avatar will understand where I'm coming from. I know you can't really talk. Pretending you can just helps me think. I'm going to pretend I didn't pretend to hear that. I am Avatar Yang Chen, young airbender. Avatar Yang Chen. The monks always taught me that all life is sacred. Even the life of the tiniest spider fly caught in its own web. Yes, all life is sacred. I know, I'm even a vegetarian. I've always tried to solve my problems by being quick or clever. And I've only had to use violence for necessary defense. And I've certainly never used it to take a life. Avatar Ang, I know that you are a gentle spirit. And the monks have taught you well. But this isn't about you. This is about the world. But the monks taught me that I had to detach myself from the world so my spirit could be free. Many great and wise air nomads have detached themselves and achieved spiritual enlightenment. But the Avatar can never do it. Because your sole duty is to the world. Mm. Here is my wisdom for you. Selfless duty calls you to sacrifice your own spiritual needs. And do whatever it takes to protect the world. God. I guess I don't have a choice, Molo. I have to kill the Fire Lord. I mean, you probably had to kill him, but you know, you need to put him somewhere where he can't fire beam. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Uncle, I know you must have mixed feelings about seeing me. But I want you to know. I am so, so sorry, Uncle. I am so sorry and ashamed of what I did. I don't know how I can ever make it up to you. <laughs> wow. How can you forgive me so easily? I thought you would be furious with me. I was never. You're the only person other than the Avatar who can possibly defeat the Father Lord. You mean the Fire Lord? That's what I just said. Hmm. No, you said Father Lord. We need you to come with us. No, Zuko. He won't turn out well. You can beat him, and we'll be there to help. Even if I did defeat Ozai, and I don't know that I could, it would be the wrong way to end the war. History would see it as just more senseless violence. A brother killing a brother to grab power. The only way for this war to end peacefully is for the Avatar to defeat the Fire Lord. And then... Then would you come and take your rightful place on the throne? No. Someone new must take the throne. An idealist with a pure heart and unquestionable honor. It has to be you. Well, I'm not just a But I've made so many mistakes. Yes, you have. You struggled. You suffered. But you, have, you must return to the Fire Nation so that when the Fire Lord falls, you can assume the throne and restore peace and order. But Azula will be there waiting for you. Mm -hmm. I can handle Azula. <laughs> not alone. I can you handle Azula. You're right. <clears throat> Katara, how would you like to help me put Azula in her place? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> what about us? What's our destiny? <laughs> so 
So if I'm going to be fire lord after the war is over, what are you going to do? After I reconquer Ba Sing Se, I'm going to reconquer my tea shop. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to play Pai Show every day. <laughs> Pai Show. Goodbye, General Iroh. Goodbye, everyone. Today, destiny is our friend. Get it. crazy on Avatar up in here now. We we got all the um, elements together now. We've seen Uncle Ira. We got the team ready to go. We got um, uh, Avatar's back. He ready. He came from the, just got through talking to the Lion Turtle. He got some more wisdom from all the other Avatars. The Comet is here. The Phoenix is ready to go. It's about to go down. It's about to go down, and this was an excellent episode leading up to that. This is about to be like Infinity War thing. Oh, that's coming. exactly what I was gonna say. All day yeah. long, in game, about to happen. So, right. um, I'm just, I'm just anxious to see how this is gonna play out because I don't think it's gonna go the way I'm thinking it's gonna go. All this building up to this, because it, just, it cannot be easy to beat the Phoenix now at the end. So, I'm very interested to see how we gonna end this up, but. Very great episode right here. Can't wait to continue the saga. Uh, I just want to say, again, thank you guys for not spoiling the Uncle Iroh mo moment. You guys did such a great job of, like, I've mentioned it probably 27 times over the last few weeks about where mm. is he, and you guys never even hinted or even alluded to when he would show yeah, back up, which made this moment so incredible. Uh, I feel like I'm going to cry just talking about it, but like, ah, oh, that was everything that I was hoping and more. And I love the fact that Uncle Ira was so himself and like there was no hesitation. He just pulled uh, Zuko in and was like, dude, I was never mad at you. I just wanted you to be you. I thought I lost you, so to speak. So I thought that was just such an incredible moment. Um, him giving everybody their speeches as far as what their purpose is and allowing Sokka to lean into his role as a uh, strategist yep. and not being like telling him what what do you think because you are a leader, you know where you guys should be and them coming together and making those decisions just all leading up to this amazing moment that I know is coming and I like literally cannot wait. I'm geeking out. To your point, I felt very much like Infinity War Endgame moment. I'm like, we're almost there. <laughs> uh, and I'm just like super hyped for all of it. And I just have to say, Zuko's character arc, 
again, I, I was hyped about it. He was a person that I was like the most intrigued about throughout this entire uh, adventure. But to see, I just I can't even yeah. withstand how excited yeah. I am about what they've done with his character. It's incredible, such great writing. But having this uh, this episode lean in, uh, set up where we're going in the final two, I'm just geeking and I cannot wait. And again. I'm so excited that I was back. We got to have that amazing moment, yeah. and I can't wait to see how this all unravels. Yeah, we about to get some some straight fighting going yes. on in this piece. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for Avatar: The Last Airbender, uh, Part Two of the Saga. Until next time, people. Peace.